What is going on guys, this is Miesin and welcome to my updated Dragon Link deck profile featuring the new support for this deck, which is, um, I mean, one card in the main deck, but one card in the extra deck that actually, well, both of these cards come up every now and then, and also the Baldrick, very uh, important as well, because, you know, more dragons, why not, right? More hand traps as well, They're just like, uh, as if this deck didn't need uh, more, right? It already has, how many hand traps is that? Uh, 2, 5, 7, 9, 12, 15 hand traps, yeah, good luck. Uh, not but good, good luck trying to combo through this deck. It's not gonna, especially if you're playing tier laments. Oh my god, none of your plays are resolving. Your Kalos is gonna get uh, Valored. Your uh, tier effects in the grave, DD crowed by the Bestials. Good luck, have fun. But, anyways, before this video starts, my man, you already know the drill. Friendly reminder to smash the like and subscribe button if this video can get to 1000 likes, and I know we can. I will be making a live stream on this deck, and now let's jump right into it. All right, so first things first, uh, man's best friend, uh, the best card in Yu-Gi-Mon's uh, Cyframe Driver. I love drawing this card, but uh, no jokes aside, this card's actually not that annoying to draw if you have like Chaos Space or like Ravine or I don't know, like if you're just discarding it off of, I think you can discard it off of the Quad Boral Dragon. So it, a lot of cards that would usually be really bad in any other deck, in this deck, uh, nothing is really, like, catastrophic to draw outside of, you know, drawing the boot sector launch that you're going to be searching anyways. So this is, like, a neg one when you draw it, but whatever. I mean, it's... I don't really cry when I draw Driver in this deck. It's not like if I draw Driver in a deck that literally cannot do anything with it. Anyways, Gamma in this deck is ridiculously unfair. You have so many powerful spell cards that might lose to an Ash, but you use them when you have no monsters on your field, like Chaos Space, Quick Launch, and uh, Ravine even. So if you get hit by a Jewel, well, Gamma means that you win even more, because now you summon two monsters, the Jewel doesn't uh, resolve, and same thing with Ash and stuff like that. So Gamma in this deck is, like, particularly good. And again, another thing is that there are light attribute monsters, just like Valor, and that's the reason why Valor is there over Imperm, because Imperm can't be discarded off of Chaos Space, whereas Valor can, and this card can be banished off of your own Bestials, and kind of help you, uh, you know, explode and pop off, whereas you usually wouldn't be able to if you just had a bunch of spells and traps in your hand, but not monsters. So that's the logic for these cards. And now for the Bestial Monsters, I think the logic is... Already very apparent, so Triple Ubalion. This card searches any bestial monster, and Magnemot is usually the one that you're trying to go for, of course. Sometimes there are some uh, minor exceptions. I mean, if you already have access to Magnemot, then obviously you're not going to be searching another one, unless it is the correct move. So, sometimes, but not all the time. <laughs> Anyways, uh, two Saronir, two Baldrick, and two Druid Worm. In this deck, they all kind of perform, like, their role in a way. So, I like uh, every single one of these cards at their ratio that I have right now. But if you have any feedback, let us all know in the comment section below. So, yeah, a bunch of Bestial Monsters. 3, 6, uh, 8, 10, 12. And now for the Rocket Monsters, or rather, uh, should I start with the Random Monsters? One Levineer, which is actually not too random. You can go Ravine, discard, well, set, rather... Foolish the Levineer and then recycle it back from the graveyard to the hand with the graveyard effect of Star Leech Safer. I like that. Uh, I do it every now and then. And it's a really powerful boss monster. So if you're banishing three dark monsters from your graveyard, you can randomly shuffle any card you're in your opponent's hand into the deck, which is already good. And then if you banish three lights from the grave, you revive back any monster from your grave in defense. So you cannot revive back Link monsters. And if you're mixing um, light and dark when you summon the Levineer, you can destroy two cards on the field, or rather up to two cards, without targeting. So that's a really way, good way of applying pressure. This, card's going, uh, this card is great for both going first and second. And again, because of the fact that you can recur it back with a safe hurt, which also can be recurred back, uh, recurred back from the Banished with the effect of Pisty, you can technically use the effect of Levineer like three times in one turn. Uh, sorry, in one game, which is really nice, but obviously not in one turn because it's a hard once per turn. You would be cheating if you use the effect of Levineer seven times or something. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Absol Router Dragon, I think one is enough. Like, it does get a little bricky if you play too many, so... I like uh, only one Abso, but it's really nice to Foolish off of Ravine so that you can search for Rocket Tracer and even sometimes a Rocket Synchron so that you can go Normal Summon, revive back the Abso Router, and then go right away into a Borderlord Savage Dragon. But unfortunately, we no longer have Chaos Ruler, the Chaos Magical Dragon or whatever the hell the name was. I didn't even care, I just called it Chaos Ruler. And uh, that was a big nerf for this deck. Very unfortunate, but it's still playable because it's Dragon, man. It's always going to keep getting support over and over again. So even if we still like, keep on destroying the, the deck in the ban list, it doesn't matter. We're just going to keep on getting bestials and branded cards, which actually 
it, it's just crazy how it has like insane synergy in this deck probably even more than in despia but anyways i'm obviously playing the two baby dragons so black dragon collapse serpent and white dragon wyver burster really no reason to explain uh, any of these cards but they do have synergy not only with chaos space's graveyard effect and obviously like on field effect no shit but uh regained is really nice as well because you can put back one and then uh, when you link off like the second one it searches again so this is like it's really annoying that they're just at one otherwise you wouldn't even have to rely on these cards to, like search with the second copy but if you're using these cards at their full power then you really don't have to care and then one safer i really don't think you need more than one it's always a normal summon and it does get a little bricky if you play like way too many with like way too many rocket tracers so i i like these ratios and of course double rocket tracer double rocket recharger as well as one rocket synchron and all the other monsters have already been explained so 29 monsters in a 40 card deck there are also a bunch of monsters in the idea section that i will cover later on but the spell cards i really don't think i have to waste much time either so triple chaos space triple quick launch no shit and then one regained one boot sector launch one ravine and for the trap cards branded beast as well as branded etude this card allows you to synchro summon on your opponent's turn and uh, it also has a continuous effect that makes it so every monster your opponent controls that would be used as like a synchro fusion exceeser link material well not exceeds but uh, whatever material on the field gets banished instead while you control a bestial monster so it's a baby dark law in a way but kind of worse but it's still really good and the fact that you can get this for free on the end phase with the effect of branded beast makes uh, both cards even better actually so i really like this main deck 40 cards but again if you uh, think there are any ways to make this deck even better let us all know in the comment section below all right now for the extra deck i'm on obviously one bestial dispatter uh, this card is nice at allowing you to revive back your banished monsters and also negating monster effects and stuff like that. So if your opponent has banished cards, you can even negate Nibiru if you're going first. So this card is really, really insane. And obviously Baron de Fleur, another card that can negate Nibiru. Same thing with Borlot Savage Dragon. So two actual Omni negates and then only one monster ne uh, negate. But this card is very easy to make. You can still Synchro Summon it under the lock of Rocket Tracer because it is a dark monster unlike Baron. And this card is a crazy good extender. And the, the more you survive with this card, the nastier it becomes. Like, on turn 1, all you really do is, like, refund your money. But, like, after turn 1, you just start exploding with this card. It's really, really insane. And 3,500 attack and defense is no joke whatsoever. Uh, you can even crash on, like, Ultimate Falcon. So you don't even need, like, access code. Uh, but other, uh, either way, we already have the out. <laughs> Anyways, uh, for the Xyz monster, only one. Iratic Dragon King of Dumb is the best rank, rank 6 monster that this deck can play. Basically, Guard Dragon LP, but better. Uh, because you don't really need to, like, worry about, like, zones and stuff like that. Anyways, Borland Dragon, obviously, Borland Sword Dragon. Uh, this card comes up when you're going second and when you're trying to kill your opponent. Because it's still a dragon monster, so you can summon it under the lock of Pisty. And now, Triple Burst Dragon, which is very relevant for its zone. And also because of the fact that it's a Link 3 monster, so facilitates the summon of Borland Dragon even more. Unicorn to summon off of IP Mascarina, you could also play Appaloosa if you really want to, but this is a dark monster, so you can still summon it off of uh, un under the lock of the Rocket Tracer. And then Romulus, Quad Boral Dragon, this card's really nice at allowing you to revive back your Recharger and Tracer, so that you can go with a uh, into a Borland Side Dragon that has a guaranteed Link 2 in the graveyard. And then uh, one Mascarina, double Heretic Seal for the grind game. Uh, the second one is only for the grind game. The first one will pretty much always come up on turn one. And then finally, Pisty, uh, Guard Dragon Pisty as well as Striker Dragon. So that's it for the extra deck. And now for the idea section, the most interesting thing about this video. So Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, you could play it, but because of the Errata, it's just like so much worse. So I'm a, a little less of a fan. Nauta Vision is really good, but... It might be a little bricky when you're playing uh, too many high-level monsters like the Bestials. It doesn't get anything started on its own. It's only really good if you have some baby monsters in the uh, well to have access to. Uh, so I'm not a big fan of Noctovision Dragon in this ver version. But if you're not playing a lot of Bestials and you're playing a lot of uh, smaller dragons, Noctovision Dragon is incredibly good. So definitely, uh, you know, take this card into consideration when you're deck building. And then Chamber Dragon A. Tri Ch yeah, oh my god. Chamber Dragon Maid, as well as Dragon Maid Tidying, are also fantastic cards, but they just add too much like to this deck that you really don't need i think this deck is already like really compact and clean as it is so you just don't need extra cards that might clog your hands and make you have like too many normal summons or too many hands that really just don't play at all even though chamber can go into striker dragon and then search the boot sector so that you can unclog and summon all of your rockets if something doesn't resolve like if the striker dragon or the boot sector launch doesn't resolve 
then you will suffer the drawback of, you know, too many normal summons. So that's really what I'm trying to say. You always deck bail for the worst case scenario and not for the best case scenario. And I'm not a really big fan of win more, so that's the reason why Chamber is not in my main deck at the moment. Anyways, uh, Water Enchantress, it's decent, but it does conflict with Seifert a little bit, and it adds way too many cards. I think it's 9 or something. What is the engine? Triple... Uh, Water Enchantress, triple right, and then one Eclipse Spell, one Field Spell, no, sorry, one Continuous, and then one Griffin. I might be missing, like, one card, but it's, uh, it's at least nine cards, or maybe ten cards, so, yeah. Anyways, Ash, and then, uh, another Rocket Snake Crown that you don't need. Ash is just really, ra uh, random, doesn't do anything at all. Oh, Chaos Angel is a really nice card. So, it's not too hard to summon. You can actually summon it by using zero, <laughs> oh my god, I love this, zero tuner monsters. Like, you can literally make Chaos Angel by summoning... Uh, by using Baldrake or, like, uh, any bestial, and then, like, any baby dragon or, like, a rocket recharger. Like, a random BS like that allows you to go into Chaos Angel and then you can banish a card on the field. And your monster is, like, always undestructible by battle because uh, you're always using a dark, at least. And sometimes you're using the White Dragon Wyvern Burster, which means that it's also unaffected by your opponent's activated monster effects. That is absolutely hilarious. But, uh, yeah, very good card. Anyways, Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend Abyss, you can't really make that because we lost Chaos Ruler, very unfortunate. Uh, Appaloosa, yeah, you could play it with the Mascarena. Call by the Great Forbidden Droplet, Duality is just not good in this deck. It has a good graveyard effect though, but the on-field effect is actually dog shit. Uh, tidying, I'll explain that. And Rivalry of the Warlords is a great card. You should be citing three and maybe look into main decking some copies of Rivalry of the Warlords. But that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.